Hello everyone, now let us discuss about optimization techniques in pharmaceutical formulations. So optimization can be defined as to make as perfect, effective or functional as possible. The word as possible leads into the area of decision making. The term optimization is used with respect to pharmaceutical formulation and processing. A useful tool to quantitate the formulation that has been qualitatively determined. Optimization is a useful tool to quantitate the formulation that has been qualitatively determined. So, whenever we undergo formulation, the final product must meet the requirements placed on it from biopharmaceutical point of view, the practical mass production criteria of the process and product reproducibility. These two are the characteristics or criteria for the final product. The first one is fulfilling the biopharmaceutical requirements and the second one is even being effective for mass production and reproducibility. So optimization helps to ideally select a formulation which obeys the biopharmaceutical requirements and also has mass production efficacy and product reproducibility. Optimization techniques provides a better understanding and an ability to explore and defend the ranges for formulation and processing factors. Coming to the optimization parameters, optimization parameters are of two types, problem type and variables. Problem type is all again categorized into constraint and unconstrained and variables are again divided into dependent variables and independent variables. Coming to problem type, the problem type optimization parameters are of two types, constrained and unconstrained. So what are constraints? Constraints are the restrictions placed on the system by physical limitation or practical consideration. In unconstrained optimization problems, there are no restriction. That is example, preparation of hardest tablet as possible for a given pharmaceutical system. Constraints are the concentration of the disintegrant it may affect the hardness of the tablet. So hardness has a limitation based on the disintegrate concentration that comes under constraint. When in, in case of unconstrained, we can prepare the hardest tablet possible for a given pharmaceutical consideration without the disintegrant concentration. Now, constraint problems have restrictions placed on the pharmaceutical system. For example, given pharmaceutical system, preparation of hardest tablet possible that disintegrates within 15 minutes. So, this comes under constraint. And usually, a formulation of pharmaceutical system contains many ingredients and processing variables. The unconstrained problems are almost non-existent in the pharmaceutical formulation and processing. So usually in case of pharmaceutical formulation, we deal with constraint problems only. Unconstrained problems are almost non-existent. And the example for constraint problem is, we have discussed here, preparation of hardest tablet possible that disintegrates within 15 minutes. So with disintegrates within 15 minutes is a limitation. Hence, it is a constraint problem. The objective may not be absolute optimization, but optimization to achieve an effective compromise between competing characteristics so as to obtain the best possible and the best possible process and formulation within the given set of restriction. This is the practical definition of optimization. The practical definition of optimization is to achieve an effective compromise between the competing characteristics so as to obtain best possible process 
and formulation within a set of restrictions because in case of pharmaceutical formulation several restrictions and processing variables are imposed coming to variables variables are of two types independent variable and dependent variable so what are independent variables formulation and process variables which are directly under control of the formulator that is they are called as independent variables example the level level of a given binding agent in tablet formulation mixing time for granulation etc coming to dependent variables dependent variables are responses or characteristics of in process material or the resulting drug delivery system example are tablet hardness drug content uniformity etc greater the number of variables in the system more complicated is the job of optimization greater the number of variables in the system more complex will be the system and the response surface can be defined for a system once the relationship between response that is dependent variable and independent variables is known when a system contains a dependent variable y here you can see a dependent variable or a response when a system contains dependent variable y which varies along two independent variables x1 and x2 the response surface in the form of 3d graph can be given as follows so this is the response surface for a response variable y with two independent variables x1 and x2 coming to classic optimization classic optimization techniques make use of application of calculus to determine the maximum and minimum of a function and these techniques have limited application and these are useful for the systems that have not more than few variables but they constitute one of the main concept of the optimization techniques so consider a response y related to a independent variable x in a hypothetical system response y is an in dependent variable which is dependent on the independent variable x so y is a function of x y is equals to fx and from the graph the maximum and minimum can be obtained so y is a function of x here y is a function of x and from the graph maximum and minimum value can be obtained use of calculus makes it unnecessary to plot the graph the first derivative of equation y is equals to fx can be found and it is set to 0 and solved for x to obtain maximum or minimum and when y is a function of two independent variables x1 and x2 that is y is equals to function of f of x1 and x2 is the equation and for and by graphical methods such as contour plots where x1 and x2 represent two axes and contours represent specific levels of y optimum level of x x1 and x2 can be selected when there are two independent variables x1 and x2 by the use of graphical methods such as contour plots the optimum levels of x1 and x2 can be selected and mathematically it involves use of partial derivatives of the function to determine the optimum level of x the presence of more than two independent variables makes graphical method impossible and mathematical methods involving partial derivatives matrix and so on have to be used in such cases and more practical methods have to be used since classical optimization is complicated and basically applies to unconstrained problems the next one is statistical design there are in general there are two categories one in which the experimentation continues as optimization takes place involves evolutionary operations and simplex method evop the first category involves evolution evolutionary operations 
and in this case the experimentation continues as the optimization takes place the second method is another in which experimentation is completed before optimization takes place it involves more classical mathematical and search models in case of mathematical and search models a relationship between independent and dependent variables must be known and two approaches to obtain the necessary relationship the theoretical and the empirical must be known in pharmaceutics much of the works being done are towards establishment of such relationships and to our knowledge many are still not established in case of empirical approaches if a single independent variable is present experimentation at several levels and use of multiple linear regression analysis or least square method to obtain relationship can be used and if multiple variables are present experiment is designed statistically design of experimentation doe and use of multiple linear regression analysis to obtain the relationship are employed if single independent variable is present least square method or use of multiple linear analysis is seen and if multiple independent variables are present design of experimentation is done statistically and the use of multiple linear regression analysis are used to obtain the relationship thank you